you have an SZ4 or SZ5 passenger chimney, this is the view you are probably quite used to inside the tailgate. This blank tailgate trim panel. It's quite a bit thicker than it needs to be and there is nothing on there, uh, no features. Uh, you can see some holes where we've had some frame nets installed in the past, but otherwise there is nothing to it, which is fine unless you find yourself camping in the back of the chimney and you realize that there's no way to get out of the car without crawling into the front and opening the front doors. So not too ideal if you're trying to get out of the car in the middle of the night for whatever reason. You might want some sort of release mechanism on here to open the tailgate and get out. This is resolved on the new LCV commercial version. Now this will mainly have been put in place because when the partition grid is installed, which you'll have to excuse us, isn't there at the moment as this car has been pulled apart. Uh, if you were to camp in the back with the partition grid in place and you'd have to be pretty small to do so, um, you would be trapped inside the car as you wouldn't be able to get to the front doors. Therefore, Suzuki have put this handy little escape flap on. Now you might notice that the trim panel is quite a bit thinner than the panel on the passenger model. I believe this has been done to help increase uh, luggage space. The LCV commercial chimney needs a mi minimum luggage load carrying capacity to make sure that it meets commercial vehicle requirements. So I believe that's why this is thinner and the seats have been pushed forward and the floor lowered slightly. But anyway, you will find this hatch in place. And what this means is if you do find yourself trapped in the back of the chimney or camping, you can just remove this little panel with the cute chimney graphic and the running person. Put that to one side and you'll find this handy cutout on the uh, splash guard in here. And you'll find a, an updated internal door latch. This bit is missing from the door latch on the SZ4, SZ5 passenger model. And what this allows you to do is to push it upwards and that releases the door latch and you can escape through the tailgate as you wish. So these are the three parts needed to complete the conversion. Uh, we have all three in stock at Jimny Style. All three are OEM genuine Suzuki parts. Uh, we're doing our best to keep as much stock as possible. But with the LCV commercial version only having been released quite recently, sometimes stock is limited, but we're doing our best to keep on top of it. First up is the tailgate trim piece. This goes inside the tailgate. Then you've got the new uh, internal door latch mechanism. And then this plastic sheet, which is the uh, rain splash or vapor guard. It's got a few different names depending on where in the world you are based. As I say, all three are available from the Jimmy Style shop. So the first stage of the conversion is to get the original trim panel off your SZ4 or SZ5 passenger model. Uh, this is best done with a trim removal tool. So let's get started. As you can see from the uh, broken silicon seal marks on there, we've already had this off before. Uh, that is the standard uh, rain or splash guard or vapor guard as it's known in some countries. Uh, this is the SZ4, SZ5 version of that guard, uh, which is very similar to the version supplied on the LCV commercial model, but it does not have the cutout to reach the uh, inner latch. So this needs to be removed. So with that removed, we now have easy access to the tailgate internal door latch. This is the SZ4, SZ5 passenger model. Uh, and you can now see that we've got a clear view of it. And for comparison, 
here is the internal door latch from the LCV commercial model. As you can see this extended piece here, which allows you to push it up and release the door latch from the inside. This extension piece is all new, it's an all new part. Uh, so this is what we need to get onto there. Uh, the fiddly bits are going to be releasing the uh, door handle cable and then this piece here which is connected to the lock. Uh, so yeah, let's see how we get on. So first of all we need to disconnect this cable here, we need to disconnect this arm over here and then just with this one bolt we can release the whole mechanism. If you lift up this bit here, there we go. That will release this arm like so. We'll get that out of the way. Just undo the 10mm bolt. Just be very careful not to drop it inside the tailgate. go. So first things first, we've got the new LCV commercial latch. Just slide that under there. There are various tabs to hold it in place. And if you just put the bolt in loosely, it at least means it's not going to fall out. Easier said than done. There we go. They don't tighten it up completely, just nip it up so it's a bit sturdier. And then we can start to connect this arm in the corner over here. So if you just pop that out, pop it in there, and then slide down this plastic latch. That locks that in place. And now we need to fish out the cable which is here, then all we need to do with this is hook it in there, lift it up, and then this green piece clips in up there, as you can see. And now if you just give this a little test, it all seems to be working nicely if you test it on the outer handle seems to be moving so now all we need to do is tighten up that 10 mil bolt not too tight and that's it jobs are good one. as is tradition when we start filming a video it starts raining and it gets really dark but not to worry we're from the UK so we're definitely used to it and now we've just got to do the final test and there we are, our SZ5 passenger chimney tailgate door latch is now operable from the inside. So now we just need to finish the job. Now if we were doing a longer video, the next thing we would show you would be cleaning up all of this silicon sealant residue that's been left behind when we removed the original rain splash guard. You want to get as much of this off as possible as we've got a new guard to put on and any of this old sealant is just gonna make sure that it doesn't stick as well as it should. So next job is to get rid of all of that before applying new sealant following the route that the previous sealant uh, followed. Now the next job, once you've got all this silicon sealant cleaned off and got some new sealant on there, is to apply this Suzuki commercial LCV rain splash guard which you can see is quite difficult when we haven't got any new sealant in place but the key difference between this and the original one is that it has this little flap in place and when installing this guard it's very important to ensure that these holes line up there are only a few of them on the guard where there is a corresponding 
clip hole in the tailgate. Most of the holes are not affected by the guard. It goes around them, but some of them like this one and then the top middle one are very important to line up. And if you get those lined up properly, it will ensure that this little flap is in the right position. If it's all off center, the flap will end up over here or up here or down here, and it just won't be as good as it should be. Now, as I explained, uh, we haven't put new silicon sealant on, uh, so we can't attach the uh, rain splash guard properly at this moment in time. Obviously at this stage, yours will be wonderfully neat and tidy and set properly and ready to go at this point. So the next and final stage is to fit your new LCV trim panel. And this is about as straightforward as it gets. All of the clip holes are exactly the same and have corresponding clips on the back of the trim panel. Now I don't get too excited, but all that's left to do is line it up and how satisfying was that? And now you can celebrate by popping off your little panel, putting your hand through the hole and enjoying your new emergency inner tailgate door release. Just a quick thought to finish on, uh, you can of course not bother changing the plastic rain guard inside, you can also not bother changing this plastic interior trim panel, you can leave your original SZ4, SZ5 passenger internal trim panel in place and what you could do is you could install the inner door latch by itself and then cut a hole in here or perhaps up here and you can fashion your own mechanism for releasing the door latch so long as you can make it go upwards so whether you use a pull mechanism here or a push pull mechanism there anything that can make that move in the correct motion you can yeah, fashion your own system but for the OEM clean Suzuki look replacing all of the items together is the best way to go